All right, Tom, we got a couple of viewer questions. I'm going to send it over to Jeff Cummings, our associate producer, who has those questions. Hey, Tom, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good, good. Um, it, I have to agree with Peter. You definitely look the same as you, you, you did many years ago. And, uh, you know, for, for viewers who probably don't know, um, you know, Tom swam for Parkway Swim Club in St. Louis, and I grew up in St. Louis. And um, a lot of, a lot of uh, the coaches there always told us when we were growing up, you know, we, you know, to, to really look up, look up, we always looked up to you and, and um, you know, it was always a great privilege to see you swim and still these days, still, still, um, still involved with the sport. So uh, we got a couple of uh, questions here. The first one is, um, you took part in a couple of huge match races, one with Biondi and one with Mark Spitz. Would you like to see more of those and do you think they would be popular today? Oh, can you imagine? I mean, United States swimming had in their hands the greatest format to show off swimming in 1990. They brought Matt Biondi and I in. They, uh, Rowdy Gaines, I believe, was in that field. I, he never swam fast enough to, to, to see him. I didn't see him. Uh, but we had uh, the top eight sprinters in the country at that time come together in a round robin and were head-to-head -head swimming. People could see, actually, what it took to be. When, when I watched this race that we just went at 20.9, I see eight swimmers going across the water. I can't really watch what's happening. When Matt and I swam uh, in 1990 at the Tracy Coffins Pool in Nashville, you could actually see both of us do our trade. I mean, you could see us swim and, and the strokes we were taking. Uh, so that was kind of cool. But what that would have led, had they done that annually, and now it would be almost 20 years later, Everyone out here would have had the chance to watch Pop Off against Gary Hall, would have had a chance to watch Gary Hall against uh, Michael Phelps, against Jason Lezak. The popularity of that event, the opportunity that they had right in their hands, that they actually created and did, was amazing. And the fact that they dropped the ball is equally amazing. Yeah, well, maybe USA Swimming will, will uh, bring those back. Now, you mentioned Rowdy Gaines, that, that he might have been at that match race. And um, another viewer sent in a question um, to want to know if you've been doing any swimming, either in Masters or just recreationally. Uh, I get in once a year. It's for the uh, fastest swimmer on the Palouse competition that we host here at the University of Idaho. And uh, all the swimmers in the area, they, they do a swim-off. In order to swim against, uh, in order to swim against me, and then I swim in a 25, and so I do 125 a year, uh, and I warm up. I do the I do the Vando warm up. I get my shoulder all a little bit loosened up, and uh, I get up there on the blocks and go. And this year, actually, this past weekend was an exception. I had a, a friend of mine came in and did a swim clinic for our uh, for our age group team, uh, Ian Crocker. I'm sure some of you have heard of him, uh, and so he. He coaxed me in the water and wanted to race me, and, and uh, I was able to stay up to his knees in a 25, and so I, I feel that's, I was trying not to have him uh, beat me by a body line. Well, that's probably better than most of us could do with Ian these days, I'm sure. All right, Tom, one more question from viewers, and they want to know about, um, you know, you, when you swam, you had a really terrific start. A lot of people tried to uh, copy that start, and uh, our viewers want to know, do you teach that start to any of your kids at Idaho? Well, I got this 10-year-old uh, boy on my team that seems to have it down as a T, to the T. He is, you can't tell him and I apart, but the advantage that he, he has is that his name is Cy Jager. <laughs> so he can get it done on the blocks. Uh, but, yeah, we do, we do teach that the start is important. Our age group team, from the time they get into the competition pool, which is uh, deep water all the way, uh, our age group team, Basically, from nine years old, they do five starts a workout every workout uh, because we believe it's an important part of the uh, of the race. And uh, some of them, well, I would, I would say most of them try to emulate that start, the uh, the dive man. Hey, Tom, it's Peter again. I wanted to uh, end our interview with a, a little word association. Give me a, a sentence or two about uh, about the following names, if you would. We'll start with uh, with Matt Biondi. A uh, great person, great uh, icon for swimming, uh, just uh, uh, clean cut, all American. How's that? There we go. What comes to mind when you hear Alexander Popov? Typical Russian, uh, very difficult to beat, frustrating. How about uh, Steve Crocker? 
missed his opportunity. I wish uh, I wish he had been at a different time because what a great swimmer and and unfortunately he he had a bad time in his career. Yeah, he can probably empathize with uh, IMers and backstrokers right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tom, great stuff. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it, and best of luck up there in Idaho. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here, and uh, good luck with the show. All right, that's Tom Jagger, the one and only, joining us here on the Morning Swim Show, and that is our show for today.